her task was to take care of animals and save endangered species in the Warsaw Zoo. Meanwhile, Antonina and Jan Jabinski became the heroes who risked their lives to hide hundreds of Jews during the occupation. But to learn about the remarkable history of the villa in the capital zoo, we have to go back almost a hundred years and look at the profiles of its main tenants. Jan Żabiński, born in 1897 in Warsaw, was passionate about athletics, especially running, in his adolescence, but his mother also installed in him a passion for animals. Before he obtained the title of engineer in agronomy at the Warsaw University of Life Sciences, he took part in the Polish Bolshevik War, for which he was awarded the Cross of Valor. Not married on the battlefield, but scientific achievements made him the director of the newly established Municipal Zoological Garden in Warsaw in 1929. The love of animals connected Jan and Antonina. They met at the Warsaw University of Life Sciences, where she worked as an archivist. This young woman became not only his closest friend, but also an excellent animal protector. Jan decided to take advantage of this and became involved in underground activities. He was involved in secret meetings and hid weapons and explosives in the zoo, which he did not even tell his wife about at first. Later, she also joined the conspiracy. He was extremely versatile. This versatility was especially useful when under the pretext of collecting food waste for pigs in the zoo, he was allowed to enter the Warsaw Ghetto. In Warsaw Ghetto lived many of the Szabinski friends from before the war. He started carrying them food packages, because without outside help, they would starve to death. He also took the tremendously difficult and risky task of getting people out of there, hiding them in his villa and the zoo garden. When there was no room in the house, the hiding places were among others. Abundant rooms, stables, sheds, empty cages or enclosures for animals. Not everyone knew each other and not everyone knew about themselves while being under the same roof. They could only sense that someone might still be there. It was all very well organized conspiracy. As the villa was situated in area frequently visited by the Germans, they did not think anything illegal was going on there. Nobody could understand it. And therefore, it was safe. It was all very well organized. To give the tenants of the villa a signal to hide, Antonina Żabińska played the piano, melody from operetta Beautiful Helena by Offenbach. Then they hid in the attic, in wall wardrobes or evacuated the pheasant house through a tunnel, to entrance of which was in the basement. 